What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, the one and only Blockchain Bay. Today, I'm going to be discussing ZKZX, some other tokens that I wish I would have held on to but sold, and now I'm getting ready to buy back into them. And yeah, I just wanted to carry you guys on that journey really quick. Um, ZKX. ZKZX is the reason why I'm actually creating this video because I'm up like 133% on it. And I was listening to Naga Bo. He was just super bullish on it. He was talking about, you know, the supply on it is low and it has the potential to go to a dollar and tornado cash. I don't know what tornado cash is. But it sounds like some back in the day stuff that everybody was making money on. If y'all know about Tornado Cash, please educate your girl. I am going to do some research on it as well. But I woke up this morning, my position was up, and I just wanted to make a quick video on it. When I asked, you know, what's the T? What's the T with ZKZX? And basically, <laughs> it's on goalpost.com. So for me, I know when it comes to the hexagon community and the richer harders, whatever he vouching for or whatever is on goalpost.com, I already know that it's going to be super bullish. Shout out to Crypto Nomad. They gave this information to me underneath my tweet that I put out there and they said 3 million ZK, ZX was burned in seven days. The project's been out for about nine. So, yeah, I just wanted to discuss it. It's renounced. All that stuff, I don't even care about because it don't even matter. The renounce and all that, eh, 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 eh. it don't matter, okay? Like black chick, what I say? I put my money in first and do my research later. So, <laughs> I don't care about none of that. I didn't do any deposits because I purchased mine straight off of the market. Um, I'm just going to give a quick detail on it. That's the contract address, 100000 which is fixed. There is a 3% buy and sell tax that goes towards the buy and burn, the plunge protection, and deepening the ZKZX privacy pool. And it says to please remember ZKZX did not raise any money or conduct a sacrifice phase. You will have zero expectations of profit for the work of others. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that from here on out. You will have zero expectations from anything that I'm putting on my videos, whatever projects I'm getting to, coins, you will have zero expectations, okay? You grown, you're going to do what you want to do inside of your wallet. And we just going to go to the website. This is their Twitter. Like I said before, I purchased mine straight off of the market. I don't want to lock anything up right now at this time, but I have it and I'm interested to see why the price is going up the way it is and you know link will be in the description below if you want to deposit your pls um you'll connect the wallet and i guess you'll get a note when you wanted to withdraw i'm not sure if it's paying you out apr pools i don't know into thing let's connect okay that didn't do anything for me unless i was to make a deposit then i would see you know what it all entails I'll probably do that on another video, but let's get into these charts. X, the chart I bought in right here, and I am up 133% on my investment, which is super bullish. Yay for me. All right. And these are just some of, of the other tokens that I'm interested in that I have already been a part of. And this is what I mean when I say the power of holding Let's take a look at Teddy Bear, y'all. Okay, so with Teddy Bear, I was on a complete journey with them. I bought in right here, bought more, sold, took profits right here. So which means I've got my money back here and I got the price appreciation from here when I should have sold. Then on the way down, I purchased some more, got impatient. I thought it was about to die, die. And sold my position. Psh, man, I could have got all this back right here, up right here, and I would have been here. So this is just the power of holding. This is why I like to keep these indicators 
on my charts because it just lets me know my patterns, things that I'm doing, if I took profits, if I gained anything, if I took losses. That is the point of these cute little indicators that I keep. And you're more than welcome to put those on yours too because I like the emojis. And look at this one. This is the one I'm really tight about, y'all. HOA. HOA, I got this at 0 .001. Okay? This thing is at six cents now. If I would have held and not sold my position, I would have been up, up off of my HOA. So I'm definitely, I want to get back in, but I'm just at a perplexed state because it's, I feel like I'm buying the top. You know what I mean? And it irritates me to feel like I'm buying the top, but if you feel like HOA, Teddy Bear, uh, what's the other tokens? Um, P die, ZKZX. If you feel like those tokens are going to go to the moon or they're gonna go crazy, then yeah, go ahead and make the purchase. I think I just may go ahead and make the purchase and bite the bullet and take the chance because I am buying at the top. But I know we into DeFi and stuff, and I did sell my position to get into other projects. But sometimes you got to know which tokens to hold, and we never really know. Let's just keep that a book. We never really know. Now, with the ZKZX, me personally, I think I just may take my chance on this. It's only been out for nine days, so I may take my chance and just hold, 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 hold. And maybe I'll get that HOA effect. Maybe I'll get the teddy bear effect. Right now, I'm up pretty decent. Like I said, I'm at 133% on my investment. ICP. ICP is another one. I got in here. Now, I'm on the ICP blockchain for them. I got in on this around $3. And I think I probably sold my position at like 15 bucks. And it did a nice little boop, bounce back. So it just may go back up to here, which is all time highs. I think it's about like $16, about 16 bucks. You know what I mean? ICP is definitely going to be um, one of the big dogs, you know? So I probably need to get some more of those. You know, that's like, ICP is like my blue chip bag. You know what I mean? Even though I did sell it to get into um, Warren Finance, I did, and it came out great. Made my money back, got my gains, sure did. <laughs> I just wanted it to last. But there are plenty of tokens in the sea, and I'm getting prepared for V2. So in the meantime, in between time, I'm just looking for different tokens that I can invest in. My little don't touch bags or my, hey, watch this bag, you know, that type of thing. Um, so all the newbies, if you're going to purchase a token and you plan on holding or you want to see the potential in it, don't watch it every 24 hours. Like you got to you gotta find your intuitive balance. Let me say that. I'm not going to tell you not to watch it. Find your intuitive balance. Whenever you feel something on the inside of you that's like, wake up and check your money, wake up and check your money. Don't try to squeeze in that last little bit of sleep. Get your butt up and check on your investment because in the middle of the wee hours of the night, in the witching hours, crypto will drop. It will pump up crazy and then it will drop back down by the time you wake up and you be done miss that pump. And it probably never go back up to those all-time highs again. It just depends on what type of token that you're in. Um, if you're in a blue chip token, the potential on that going back up is higher than more of a DeFi type of token. You might not get that all-time high again. You may do. But the point of it is, when you get that nice little tingly feeling or that urge to pull you to get up or to check, Make sure that you check. Make sure that you have your MetaMask on your phone. 
So that way when you're on the go, if you get the inclination, you can check your investments. Make sure you got it on your computer. So just in case something goes on with your phone, you can do it on your computer and vice versa. Okay, just always stay tapped in. This is a very volatile market and you are responsible for your investments. And when you're watching the charts, I like to watch the hour chart after I put my money in just so I don't get tempted to sell because if I put it right here on the one minute chart I get to see every little do 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 up do 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 you know what I mean I get to see every little thing so I put it on the one hour chart after I've cleared my investment just because if it's going to go down like it starts to drop here then that's like more of a dramatic thing that means there's more sales or there's more buys if you see it to go up. It's more aggressive. You see what I'm saying? So that's my strategy on what I like to do. As far as when I purchase or when I buy, that's when I open up the one minute chart. Then I would click my emoji, boom, and put it exactly where I purchased in at at that time. That way I get the most accurate position on my investment. And then from there, I just kind of, you know, watch it or whatever zkzx is really why i made this video i just incorporated some other tokens just because i wanted to show how i should have held you see what i'm saying i wish i would have held my hoa and like i said before i'm a little confused on if i should buy these tokens again because it's at the top and i hate buying tops but the liquidity is 69,000 and the liquidity could be so much more it's not even a hundred thousand yet so you could take a look at that the tang gang is definitely a major influence inside of the post chain community they have graduated themselves I was here right here so they've definitely made their presence known inside of this space so i think i'm gonna just go ahead and purchase in and see what happens you know what i mean because the bull run is not here yet tang gang is definitely a part of that community so it's gonna take off um teddy bear they have the same supply as shiba inu and doge so with teddy bear i'm gonna go ahead and put some more money into that as well too just because that has a hold on the community. And this is pretty much the mean token for the post chain ecosystem. I believe in Teddy Bear. As you can see, I have way more activity on here than I do on any other token. So I'm going to add another Teddy Bear emoji and I'm going to buy back in while it's at this little dip here. This is the four hour chart. This is the hour chart. So I'm not too far away from where I previously invested and I'm waiting on more of a dip to happen on Teddy Bear just because I know it's coming just like with um, ZKZX. I'm waiting on that dip for me to reinvest back into that because I know it's coming. I know it's coming and I hate buying top. So that's why I haven't reinvested into ZKZX. But I'm definitely going to do that as soon as that first dip come. I need to know who's going to sell, how much is being sold, and then, boom, I'm going to scoop up some more. So that's how you play the game. Even if you want to DCA in, your wisest bet is to kind of DCA in on a dip. If you already purchased at the dip, like say, for example, if I would have purchased down here and then it went up. If it go back down and I want to buy that dip, I can choose to not put any more funds in here. But if I want to DCA in, I will purchase some more right here at the dip because I believe that it's going to keep going up, up, up. Even if it does a dramatic and then it, you see what I'm saying? So you just, you just got to watch it. That's all I can say. Like, that's just the best advice that I can give is find your intuitive balance. When it comes to your investment inside of anything, find that, let that be your guide and not 
anything or anybody else. Sometimes you got to get solo. You know what I mean? Tap into what your voice is saying, what you feel, and see what your mind is all about. See if you actually have a knack for being inside of the space naturally without the guidance of influencers, communities, and things like that. Do some research on your own. That's a must. So I'm just giving y'all my best advice as far as how to navigate through this space. I've always navigated intuitively from the inception of me being in here with $20 and turning $20 into $159 and then $159 into like $1,900 and then from there into drip. And then I found community after that, you see? And make sure that y'all having fun in this space. Don't take it too personal. I know it's money being gained, money being lost, but we're supposed to be using risk capital. And if you're not using risk capital, chunk it up as soon as you put it on chain. Tell yourself it's gone. Tell yourself that. Now, if you make money off of that, then kudos. But if not, you already knew that that money was gone. Just like when you go out to eat, you know the money is gone. When you go out to party, you know it's gone. You see what I'm saying? Those things, you can't wear them. You can't exchange them. You can't do anything with those things. So if you are not going to use risk capital, the money is gone as soon as you put it on chain. Accept it. Okay? If you can't accept that, don't put the money on the blockchain. Okay? It's been real. As always. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for giving me your time and your attention. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl, the one and only Blockchain Bay. I will see you guys on the next one. Y'all stay sweet. Don't go crazy. All right?